So in this problem, we're told to find the limit as x approaches negative infinity of the square root of 4x to the 6th minus x over x cubed plus 7. So what we're going to want to do is find our variable to the highest degree. So on top, our monomial is going to be 4x to the 6th, but we got to keep our square root on top. And on the bottom, it's going to be x cubed. That's a higher degree than 7. So now what we want to do is simplify our top. Um, so this is basically 4x to the 6th to the 1 half. So what we can do is simplify this to, basically we just want to take the square root of our coefficient out front. So uh, the square root of 4 is going to be 2. And then we have x. And then what we do is, uh, the exponent rule tells us that we multiply our exponent on the inside times the exponent on the outside. So 1 half times 6 is going to be 3. So basically we just rewrote top as 2x to the 3. We have 2x to the 3 over x cubed. And so now what you want to do is look at the, since they're the, to the same degree, right? So both of these are to 3. You're going to take a look at the coefficient out front and then divide them. So bottom one's 1, we just don't see it. So it's 2 divided by 1, which equals 2. But the thing is we're not done because this says the limit as x approaches negative infinity. So I want you to realize that since we're plugging in negative infinity here to an odd exponent, right? Because if you plug in a negative number into an odd exponent, so like let's just say negative 2 cubed, it's going to become minus 8. So it keeps the minus sign. What we got to do is add the minus sign to our answer. So this one becomes minus 2. So keep that in mind whenever you uh, approach uh, negative infinity. Make, check and see if the, um, the exponent is going to be odd or even. Because if it's odd, you're going to add a minus sign. If it's even, you don't have to worry about it because it would just cancel out. Right? Because minus 2 squared is 4, the minus sign goes away. So yeah, just keep that in mind uh, for when you solve these. But the answer to this one is going to be minus 2.